Hi, I'm Kudo Mal, Branch Chief of Kudo Wales in the UK. I'm on a mission to raise awareness for Kudo and the benefits of being a martial artist. Kudo is a full contact mixed martial arts and combat sport developed by Grandmaster Azuma Takashi. In my opinion, Kudo is the perfect way for martial arts to pressure test the efficiency and their technique as well as their fighting ability as it's the closest thing you're going to get to a real fight. I have the privilege of introducing you to one of our most inspirational junior students. She is a UK Kudo champion and achieved a silver medal at the European Championships. So thank you for being willing to, to take this interview. Okay. No worries. Yeah, it's all good, it's all good. Um, right, so let's start from how long have you been training here? Four to five years, I'd say. Four to five years. And what was the kind of story behind you joining the club in the first place? Um, I used to go to this karate, but I decided to come here. I like this place more because it's more like interactive. And I'd rather it be more contact than just hit in the air. And it's a lot more enriching. Since you've been here then in the four to five years, have you managed to achieve anything? Uh, yeah. Um, gold in Kent was then selected because I got the UK champion in Kent to go to Slough, got the golden Slough. Um, we then went to the Kyoko Shin competition but got a silver medal there. Didn't really like it much though because it was, I wasn't able to really hit to the head or like smash <laughs> the head guard and stuff. Yeah. So I think I'd rather Kudo than Kyoko Shin. Yeah. And it's, so besides the striking, it's, it, did it put you off not being able to like throw and, yeah. and that type of thing? So the rule set was not, not necessary for you. You enjoyed the experience? Yeah, it was a nice place though. People, the people there were quite nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely more of the kudo though. <laughs> okay. Are you training, doing anything else? Uh, BJJ and Sambo. Cool. I quite like the BJJ because I'm able to like really get some cool strength on it. And you're also one of our junior coaches now, so uh, you have been out in which classes? The youngest, like primary school. Yeah. Um, the in-betweeners, yeah. where they're like not ready to go in the older class, but they're not ready to be, or they're too big to be in the younger. Uh, so that's Kudo classes yeah. and then the BJJ class, yeah. Okay, so uh, you've been in the club a few years. Well, have you got any funny memories of uh, attending the dojo over the last four years? Um, Ethan farting during an arm bar. <laughs> 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 and then Ethan falling over during the Edo. Oh. I can remember ages ago, like way back when I like first started, um, Kieran just letting out a massive fart. <laughs> So you find, oh, you yeah. find fart, there must be a bit of a problem in that club, is it? Flatulence is, a, is an issue for us. We'll have to make a note of that. <laughs> uh, and um, if you had any a special moments? Um, probably when I got praised a lot for how good I'd done in the grading. Because yeah. um, I like scored loads of marks and stuff for the technical and then a lot for the fighting as well. That's amazing. So Matt, that's, that's really interesting. So. The, the feedback that you got, you know, what did it make a difference to you when you were training afterwards? Or for, I was like buzzing for a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, I had a big confidence boost, like really big. Yeah. I felt that all the work I paid off, I actually had some self worth. Yeah, well, wow, it's amazing. That was your last grading. Yeah. Yeah, and, and which grade did you go for? Fourth Q, green belt first. Yeah, that's good. So you're happy about that that level? You know it's a good level, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's good. To get that, it's brilliant. Well done. Any other kind of high points, or, you know, for, for you? Um, in Malta, uh, getting the silver medal. medal? So, so what was Trophy. Malta? Um, it was the, the European Championships, what? where like, loads of people came. It was so cool. Yeah. Chips were amazing. <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> so did you meet uh, people from different parts of the world? Yeah, um, Idaria. She's really cool. I like her. <laughs> She's um, from Italy. Italy. Do you remember where in Italy? Nope. Rome. <laughs> Rome. Rome. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel really mean not being able to remember any of their names. A really tall guy. Yeah. Jupiter. Uh, yeah. Him. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the main man himself, Kenichi Osada. Okay, so. He's cool. So you've met, you've met Kenichi Osada. 
Yeah, did you speak to him? Yeah. Yeah. Did. Got his autograph and a hat. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and Malta, obviously, was a real highlight. You were part of a team. Yeah, do you want to tell us a little bit about kind of how many people are in the team, what preparation you um, did? There were six people in the team, and before we actually went to Malta, there was a few months where we done an extra lesson on the Friday, and on the Saturday we would do strength and conditioning. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to like pull weights across the floor and stuff. Not fun. I felt really strong <laughs> after that. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Um, what I took from it is that I'm really good at high kicks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love high kicks. Um, I also gained quite a lot of confidence because I felt good about myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of it was like technique and learning our like friends and stuff. Not learning, but like getting to know each other. So there was six in the team. You were the only person to podium in our team. Yeah. Yeah. How did that feel? Crazy. I was like, oh my god. I thought in my mind, I was like, oh, if I win one fight, I'm gonna be so proud of myself for even getting a small achievement like that. Mm. I never thought I'd go so big. Um. And considering I'm the only girl, I felt really like, oh, girl power. <laughs> that's amazing, yeah, that's cool. What would you say was the kind of key parts in your success to getting that silver medal? Probably the relationships with the coaches and just the commitment I put into the club. Yeah. Um, because if I didn't put anything in, and if I like quit randomly, I don't know what I would do instead. I've got so much time put here that I've got no idea what I would like do otherwise. <laughs> yeah, obviously, you were saying about the, your your relationship with all of us. Obviously, is fantastic, and uh, got to give Kieran uh, Kieran a shout out as well uh, <laughs> for the time that he that he put in in preparation, the extra extra sessions and stuff. Um, but would you say that it was your attitude um, towards going to the competition that was a big part of it? Yeah, I wasn't really going for a trophy. I was more going to like represent my club instead of thinking, oh, I want a trophy, I want a trophy. <laughs> I, I wanted to just show what my club's worth is instead of it always being trophy, trophy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my food. So it was, it was important to you, um, but obviously it was it was about representing, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, you guys made a big statement as well that you were from Wales, right? When you were out there. Uh, let me think. Uh, were you wearing something? <laughs> oh yeah, we had our like proper suit thing. Yeah. So not really suit, yeah. but our club was on it, like written all over it. Yeah. The GTA dojo was on the back. We had those little Welsh hats. Yeah. Um. <laughs> We got um, that big flag we put what like on the back of the fight. So when you see one of us fighting, just holding up the flag going, Wales! <laughs> did, did you know that we were watching uh, from the dojo? No. You didn't know? I, I didn't know whatsoever. <laughs> I thought, oh, well, these guys aren't really here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, we, we were all very, very proud of you. So what was your main highlight? Would it be sad to see the chips <laughs> and the ribs? <laughs> I love food. Yeah. Yeah. Have you kept in contact with anybody since you've been back? Uh, it already has came down, but I'm not really into contact with her because she's an adult. It would probably be a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> but was it nice to see her in Cardiff when we had the seminar? Yeah, it was yeah. sick. Yeah. You enjoyed the seminar? Hopefully we'll see her again soon. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've come back uh, to the dojo, come back to your training, you know, uh, business as usual, as you say. <laughs> and uh, so what's the future for you? What are you, what are you hoping for? I'm hoping to be, it probably sounds really cringy, but not like a beacon of hope, <laughs> more like someone to support females. Because a lot of the time when I was tra training when I was younger, there wasn't really a female there it was a lot of 
boys, Ooh. males. Ooh. <laughs> um, I hope just to be someone that like people can inspire me for. That's amazing. <laughs> And, it, and this is why it makes you so special, to be fair. But what difference has it made uh, you attending or coming to the dojo? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I've been here too long to remember what I was like before. But if I wasn't here, I would, like, be very socially awkward. Because <laughs> I'd stay in my room a lot. So you would you encourage people, you know... To, to do not even just kudo, would you tell would you encourage people to get involved in sport? Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's made a big difference. It um, improves your well being a lot, like, especially for me. You feel kind of comfortable, secure, like do you look forward to coming? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I want to go to Japan. Japan is cool. Um, not really, I mean, yeah, I would say for kudo, heavily for kudo. But I would want to see like go sightseeing and stuff as well. Yeah. Um. I want to go to Italy as well to see Ilaria, and maybe for once my family from Italy can watch. Wow. Because they are really like supportive, but I don't re usually see them. Oh, okay, that's amazing. <laughs> um, any sort of competitions, different sports do you want to try? You were saying about um doing sambo and BJJ. You're gonna you're gonna throw you out in that ring as well. You're gonna try that. Yeah, um, especially BJJ. I really like it because I'm able to spin around on the floor and stuff, yeah. get loads of chokes in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. Thanks for that. I hope everybody finds it really interesting. She's an absolute legend. Yeah, we look forward to uh, going out to those places around the world with you. Japan, definitely. Um, in Italy, to see the guys would be awesome, especially Laria. Yeah. Oh, <laughs>